What is going on guys, Riley from High String Lacrosse here and today we will be doing the 13th installment of the Custom Stringing Series. It has been quite some time since I've done a video, not entirely sure the exact uh, number, but I am looking forward to telling you guys about the pockets that I have lined up. Um, so sort of between like the last video and now, there has been, uh, I mean I still had orders going through but not of the quantity um, to where I feel it justifies a video, um, but this weekend or at least, should I say, the past week um, combining, uh, ended up having enough heads that I felt that this should happen. Um, this includes because I was on vacation, but also just because a large number of people at the same time decided they needed something done. Um, but yeah, nothing really uh, more than that. There's a lot that's been going on. A lot, <laughs> so much that I uh, don't want to like put it into this video, but I'm not sure if it needs its own video. It's not really all that important, but it's just stuff. Um, for lack of a better word, um, but yeah, so I think we should just get right into it I mean you guys are here to see the heads um, So just to start off strong. I have a Repeat customer who is I don't know how many times he's come to me for a string, but it's quite a bit and It's always the same exact head. Um, so you know that he likes what he's getting um, So here is Peter's Superpower Plus with String King Type 2S. He has gotten this with, I think, 2S Plus, 3S, and 2S. He has come back to 2S. Not entirely sure as to why. It could be price. It could be he just likes the mesh the most. But um, his setup is pretty much a mid to mid high with a nice, nice channel. Um, and just, it, it's great. It's usually a nylon with a stacked shooter right below it and then skipping around then another shooter. Um, the nylon starts on a 90 row and then the others are on 10 D. but this time he asked, and I'm sorry that the tag's in the way, but he asked that I move them down just so he can try it. Um, it will have more weight, but it'll also have the more hold that he asked for. I left the uh, bottom shooter a little bit longer so he can mess around with it and decide if that's what he wants or go back to what he is used to. Um, but yeah, Peter, uh, thank you again. Uh, your return service is always appreciated, um, and I always enjoy doing these for you. So yeah, I don't have anything else really to say about it. Um, the SP Plus, all in all, I'm very, I'm, I think it's a great product since you guys want my opinions on this stuff. I think it's a very, very nice head. The only concern is durability. I've seen a few that are just demolished um, in a short amount of time. I need to ask Peter actually about um, his and how it holds up. But um, I've seen a few just get destroyed. But he seems to be very happy with them. Also, the amount of times that he sent them to me either means he doesn't care about how long it lasts or they aren't lasting long and he has to keep getting new ones. I'm not sure. But um, no big deal. Regardless, Peter, hope you like it. Uh, up next, we have Zach. I believe it's Zach. This is his first time buying for me, so I'm not uh, completely acquainted with him. But uh, here is Zach's Nike CEO. Um, he bought this for me with a custom stringing service. Uh, it has white hero mesh in it, and it has a very, very nice, I, I would say USA, no doubt, USA colorway to it. Um, it features a nine diamond uh, protected top in red with a blue triangle, a blue and red barrel nylon at his request, which is awesome. Um, it threw me off at first, but then I ended up figuring out how to do it, and I was like, all right, cool, I could use this from time to time. Um, it ties off on both sides, which is very um, aesthetically pleasing. And then uh, stacked below it is a, um, a white shooter skip, white shooter. Those are on 90 rows. Um, it features a face-off. This is a very universal pocket that I um, stream for a lot of people. It's face-off friendly. It's midfield friendly. It's attack friendly. I even tried it on a long pull, but um, it didn't suit my style, ironically, even though it's such a popular pocket. Um, but it's pretty much a mid that can shift all around. The fact that this is Hero encourages that more so. Um, it should have a very, very nice amount of whip, and I think you'll like it quite a bit. Um, it features blue in the throat, uh, which is actually a string king bottom string. Not sure why I did that, but at the same time, like it just I usually use um, a soft bottom string instead of a string bottom string, or a shooter bottom string, should I say. Um, and then red on the sidewalls. So all in all, a very, very popular pocket. I think I uh, suggested, or he might have asked, um, to move these uh, shooters up simply because with this pocket, um, Hero and it uh, had this little conflict where I usually do this with String King Type 2S. You guys will see actually in a little. Um, on another head that I did, it just turns out perfectly. When you throw in Hero, the elasticity and the difference in the mesh causes the channel to be slightly looser. It, it, uh, it, it reaches a higher um, point before it releases and you feel the uh, hook more. 
Um, although the hooking, I think, is there on both of it. Um, this is me going into a theory thing that I talked to the string king guys about. But anyway, um, yeah, so you feel the ball a lot. So by moving the shooters up, um, it's also to encourage less hook off the lowest shooter while it's coming out. Um, but I'm not entirely sure if that was the uh, thought behind this or if it was just at his request. But regardless, it works out very well. A lot to say about all these heads. I love talking about them. Um, it's been quite some time since I've been able to. But yeah, that's that. Um, I know that I do stutter sometimes. Or not stutter. I don't stutter. I guess I stutter. I don't know. Um, but I do uh, do that. I, I put in these um, pauses. It's very bad, and I'm trying to work on it. I apologize to everyone. I know some people get very upset by it. On to the next head. So, up next we have... What do we... Do we go to the pairs or do we? It's conflicting. There, are, there are a few more heads, so I'm trying to get this line up right. I'm just gonna go for, I believe, yeah. This is Ben's Warrior Nas 2X that he purchased today. Um, it features all white all around ECD Hero Mesh, doubled up nylon on the 10 diamond row, two white shooters below, protected nine diamond triangle top, uh, and this is an HSL pocket. It's uh, my favorite pocket for the Nas 2. I just think it takes it so well. I uh, first did it, I think, with String King Type 2S Plus on the Nas right back there, where my thumb is. Um, I love that head so much. Uh, I actually was sent that by Warrior. I don't use it just because it's so amazing and I don't really have a use for it, but it's just awesome to have that there. It's next to a Superpower Plus in gray that I sent by STX with BCA. Yeah, the ECD. Um, Breast Cancer Awareness mush, uh, Mesh, Mush, the Mesh. ECD makes Mush now, apparently. But anyway, Mesh, um, that they did for this year, and it's just, uh, that's an awesome pocket. And that's actually um, in Peter's SP Plus, same pattern. So funny, funny enough, um, Ben and Peter actually go to school together. They're friends. So the fact that the heads are sitting on the wall together, as well as the fact that they're in the same streaming video, as well, they just there are a lot of connections. I think that's very cool, um, and I don't know if one of them found out about me from another. But I'm starting to ramble. There's still a decent amount of heads to go through, and I don't want to bother you guys. But um, just so much cool stuff. But anyway, uh, like I was saying, HSL Pocket. I am just such a huge fan of uh, this setup. It's just really, really awesome. The shooters are moved up. Um, under the nylon simply because, like I said, Hero has more um, shift to it. It results in more whip, and so this is more ideal to actually be used. Um, ben, I hope you like it. It'll go out tomorrow. Up next, we have, do I do my classmates last, or do I show their heads now? I'm not sure. Um, okay, we will go into Maddie's. So, uh, Maddie Mayer goes to school with me. He's a good friend of mine. We've played lacrosse together since freshman year. Yeah, yeah, we have. Um, and he, as I mean, I usually string his heads for him. He broke two of them on the same day recently, and so he needed new ones. Um, so he brought these into school and asked me to do them over the break. So here they are. Um, I also did a stallion, which I posted on Instagram. You guys already saw that. That was for an immediate replacement. These are so he can then continue to have heads lined up, since apparently he breaks them pretty easily. So what do we do? Optic first? Yeah. Here's a Maverick Optic U with string king type 2S. Um, it features a single string the whole way around because I've always, I mean, I've done single strings for Maddie and he seems to like them. Um, and he doesn't seem to break the mesh or strings. He seems to break the heads. So this works out for him. Um, but so it f features a single string the whole way around with a six. I don't even know what this is called. It's just um, six connection points on the top. I think it might be called a six top. I'm not entirely sure. Who cares? Actually, I do usually. Um, but anyways, a single string whole way around, um, protected top. There's no triangle just because it connects it all the six holes, um, which connects all the diamonds. Um, and then there is a nylon on the first nine diamond row. And then on the second 10 diamond row, there is a soft shooter. Um, it is, how do I classify this pocket? This is my most popular pocket for the Optic U. It's pretty much a mid um Slightly higher, maybe like I don't know. I don't want to call it a mid high because it's an optic and they don't usually do that, let alone on the universal. But um, it's like a mid that shifts around, which is good. Um, and it's very popular and it fits the pocket that I did for him in the Surgeon 10500 that he had been using. So it's a nice little transition for him. I think he'll like it a lot. It's a very nice channel. It's with String King Type 2S. Um, I'm a fan of it. 
I hope he is too. He has a very specific setup. Um, I've found with the shooters and uh, the way that I just do the whole thing. And I really like it, and I think it suits him very well. Up next is the Centric for Maddie. He uh, gave me these heads at the same time. Um, it's the same setup in every single way. I think I transferred the exact same pocket. Um, it sits slightly differently because up top they changed from three top string. Yeah. They changed from three large top or sidewall holes at the beginning to only two, and it changes the placement, I think, a little bit. And then also the way that the sidewall rail is made um, causes the mesh to get pulled slightly differently. So it ends up with a slightly different ending, which causes the mesh of the tail to lie slightly differently. Just little details. Um, not a big deal. It's going to work very similarly, and I think we'll like it a lot. So same specs as the other pocket. Um... And yeah, I'm a huge fan of the Centric. Um, I decided not to use it for LSM. And plus, I'm playing close this year, or at least I'm planning on it. So I will be using the Tank um, for anyone who was wondering about my gamer. Shaft, I'm still trying to figure out, but probably going to stick with the Selly Plus, especially since they no longer are being made. And I've been just really, really liking it, so I might as well continue to enjoy it. So yeah, that's Maddie's stuff and a little bit into what I'm using. No big deal. Um, and then up next... PJ, right. Okay. Uh, up next we have PJ. PJ's heads. He, um, over the summer, sent me two of them while I was on vacation. He sent me a Warrior Nas 2X and a Nike CEO. They were both very used. Um, and I ended up putting face-off pockets into them, and he liked them a lot. So with my Black Friday sales that I have going on right now, which is $10 off and free shipping on every single item, um, he ended up deciding to grab two heads from me and have me string them up. Uh, and so here they are. Up first, and I have not cut the tails of the mesh yet. You guys get to see the heads now, but I have not cut the mesh tails yet, but they will be cut just because that's how he likes his face-off pockets. Uh, up first, we have a Warrior. Nope, not a Warrior. It's a Nike. Nike CEO um, with shrinking type 2S. So as I said earlier, um, Hero and 2S string up differently with the same exact pattern. I like the 2S pattern, or it was originally made using 2S, the pattern. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm a huge fan of it. So I prefer this just because of the way that the channel comes out and the way that it functions. Um, but yeah, it's a face-off friendly pocket. Um, and he is a face-off guy, so that works out. With a single string the whole way around. Um, with the single string uh, triangle top. Um, and yeah, the, the tail has to get cut all white all around. Two white shooters on the two first 10 diamond rows. Um, and yeah, it's very, very... This is an extremely popular setup. If you see that channel, it's slightly tighter um, than in the Hero version, and I just love it, and I think it works really, really well, and I'm a huge fan of it. Um, and actually, when I finished stringing this up, I sat for like 10 minutes, and I just admired, because I'd been a little bit. I'd done a lot of them with Hero, and I hadn't seen one with 2S in a while, and I was like, wow, this is awesome. And I was just like, I, I'm just a huge fan of it. If, it. if I played short pull, I would without a doubt test this out and see if I wanted to use it. Um, as I said, I tried it with a long pull. It didn't work out. Might have been a weight thing. Might have been the pocket itself being slightly lower than what I'm used to. Who knows? Um, there are many things. I keep waving my hand, so I apologize for that. Anyway, uh, PJ, first of the two heads. Look forward to see you destroy this thing with face-offs. Um, just keep me updated on how it's working. Up next, uh, PJ's... Black Warrior Nas X, it is hollow, as you can see it has the dents, um, you should be able to see that, there's a dent there, um, there's denting, which means it's hollow, which is ideal for face-off guys, for you, those that don't know, um, it's black, it, I got this uh, used, or it's like new, um, it has some scoopies, but the face shape itself is holding up pretty well, um, he's a face-off guy, so he'll maintain it himself, so it's not a big concern, um, this is this is the pocket that I pretty much suggest for all uh, people using a Nas. Of course, there are a few variations that I also suggest. Um, the one, let's see, can my arm line up? Yeah, this right here, that's a Carolina Warrior Nas X that I have with semi-hard hero mesh. That's a higher pocket. I like that a lot personally. I would use that. Um, but this is the personal favorite uh, for most people. Not personal. I can't say personal favorite for other people. This is a personal... Uh, I need to stop saying personal. This is a favorite pocket for a lot of people, including face-off guys. So I look forward to um, hearing what he thinks of it. He had a Nas 2X at first. This is a Nas X, so the sidewall holes are different, so I had to string it up slightly. Not slightly. I had to string it up differently 
Um, but I'm interested to hear what he thinks of it. Um, of course, if he maintains the head properly and does all that stuff, it won't be an issue at all. I'm trying to think what else do I need to say about this. Tail will be cut, of course. Um, and yeah, it's not the mainly mesh pattern, by the way. Um, that's a very nice pattern. Obviously, it's a very popular pattern. This is a different one that's similar in a lot of ways, but not the same, if that makes sense. Anyway, PJ, there are your heads. I hope you liked them. They'll go out tomorrow, just like I said. Uh, and finally, we have my friend Logan Posner. Um, he approached me uh, right before uh, Thanksgiving break with a Centric and a Strinking Tip 2S Handy Kit and said, I need you to do this over break. And I said, of course. Um, so here is Logan's Maverick Centric U. Um, it is with a all shrinking materials, um, a double protected triangle top, doubled up nylon, two straight shooters on 10 diamond rows. All of them are on 10 diamond rows. Shooter in the throat, white sidewalls, and just pretty much the ideal pocket I found, at least in the, uh, in the centric. Uh, same as what Maddie has, actually. Um, it's a very, very nice head, as I said, and um, Logan is actually able to usually use something that I, he can use pretty much whatever stick I give him, which is awesome for him, um, and it's very interesting. I did a trad for him a while back, and when I gave it to him, like, Logan, you should not use this. I just, because I was still getting good at doing trads, and I was like, just be honest about it. Just use it. Tell me what you think, and he's, he's using it currently. He loves the thing to death. I even gave him a little code to you for his birthday, um, and he's, he's not even using it. Like, he said he's saving it for the season, and he's just using this thing. It's an Under Armour head with a trad, and he just loves it. Um, the kid can pretty much use whatever stick you give him. So, Logan, uh, I hope you <laughs> I hope you like this one a lot. I'll hand it to you tomorrow at school. Same with you, Maddie. Um, but yeah, uh, Strinking Type 2S, all Strinking materials, all provided by him. Very, 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 very big fan of the Centric. Um, obviously, it's universal. If I didn't already say that, and yeah, I think that's it, guys. Um, I. Don't know what other heads. Yeah, that's it. Those are all the heads that I have for today. I have two heads I have to do tomorrow. Two more heads, I believe, showing up um, tomorrow as well. And my hands hurt a ton from all the stringing I've been doing over the past two days. But uh, all these orders will be sorted out and sent or handed uh, in person to the rightful owners. And uh, I appreciate all the business guys. Thank you so much. Like I said, there's a sale on my website right now. Go check it out. It'll end Monday night, Tuesday morning, sometime around then. Um, I think that's it. So yeah, stay tuned guys. Check out my Instagram page, go to my website, all that stuff. Um, and take it easy. Thank you so much for watching. I live my day as if it was the last. Live my day as if there was no past. Doing it all night, all summer. Doing it